Another nice feature of Excel 2007, as well as in other previous releases of Excel 2007, is the autofill feature. The autofill feature allows you to duplicate information down or across in rows and columns as many times as you need, or to create a series of information, such as a numerical series going from 1 to 10, or a date series going from the 1st to the 31st of a month. Let me go ahead and demonstrate how to create an autofill. First of all, you will find in the ribbon on the Home tab, over here in the Editing Group, a Fill feature, which when you select this will allow you to fill down, right, up, left, across worksheets, or as a series, or to just apply some justification within a fill. Let me go ahead and demonstrate how this works because there is also a mouse technique for doing the same as the fill button up here in the editing group. First of all, let's say I wanted to duplicate Southwest Division down to row 10. I would go ahead and select it and then if I am using the fill button, I can click and drag all the way down to row 10 and then click the fill button and choose down and it will duplicate southwest division all the way down in the cells that I've selected. Now the mouse technique is a little bit different. First select your information then position your mouse on the little handle that's in the lower right hand corner of the selected cell. Notice that your mouse becomes a little plus sign. This is indicating that it is the fill feature. When I click and drag on that handle and pull down to row 10, it will also duplicate my information. You can create a series, and to do that, notice that when I select product 1, and again use the mousing technique, drag all the way down to row 10, Excel is smart enough to know that product 1 you might most likely like to have product 2 next, and then 3, 4, 5 all the way down. If I do this over here to the number 1, click and drag, notice that it will keep that at a number 1. If I change, let me undo what I just did, and if I add a 2 here underneath the number 1, and then select 1 and 2 so that they're both active, a range of cells here, and then click and drag all the way down to row 10, I will create my series. Notice I could do this with my date, and again, Excel will be smart enough to know that I want to increase my date by one day, or, let me undo, if I wanted to make this January 19th a week later 2007 and again highlight these two cells so I have a range of cells selected and now pull down my autofill I will create my own date series that skips for every Friday and listing that actual date all the way down. So you can see there are quite a few techniques for using autofill. I kind of prefer the mouse technique because it's direct on my worksheet and I'm seeing what I'm doing with just a single click. But don't forget about the fill button up here that allows you to do the same thing. If you'd like to practice a little bit with autofill, you can open up the SW-Sales file that's in your Excel 2007 class folder. We're going to go ahead and apply an autofill to our project list on our menu worksheet. So again, please open up your project list and if you would like to start with a fresh file that reflects the development we have done up to this point in the tutorial, you can open up 0512 start file and when I select that, here is my menu, I'm on my menu tab, and what we're going to do here is we're going to number our product list. So the first thing we need to do is to insert a new column. Let's come up here to column A, select all of column A, right click and insert, which will insert a new column, and then let's type the number 1 over here in cell A5, press your enter key to move your cursor down one cell and type the number 2 and again enter that data by pressing your enter key. Now to create our series, our numeric series, highlight 1 and 2 and then on the little handle in the lower right hand corner, position your mouse so you get the plus sign and drag all the way down to the bottom of your product list. And notice there are 29 products. If you'd like to adjust the column width here, go ahead and double click on that column and there is our menu. Go ahead and save this file. 
pat yourself on the back, you have a nice looking menu started at this point. And we will move on to the next chapter in this tutorial.